So all visible, right? Yes. They are also visible. Okay. वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्य कोटि सम प्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकारेशु सर्वदा सरस्वती तमस्तुभ्यम वरदे काम रूपिणी विद्यारम्भम करा सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम सहना सहना भुन सह वीर कर्वा वहि तेजस्वी नवधी तमस्तु मा विषा वह ओं शांति 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 ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम या सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट अवर टॉपिक राइट सो आई हैव few things so that we'll just clarify so that all those things let me see if you have those kind of issues or all things are cleared out kind of thing so one of the common things which we have seen again in the whatsapp group the discussions are going on and things like that so there are three things are you clear about those number one there is this whatsapp group and the google groups the mailing list where your communication mostly happens so you'll get either a whatsapp message or google groups kind of thing so that is more like communication okay that is number 1 number 2 is google classroom so you possibly have got a link to it and then you have joined it and then you are part of the google classroom so in my other classes i have seen people asking what is this google classroom what is this different so google classroom is where you are going to submit your homeworks right so in fact uh, that's what so what we are planning is this week we'll have a trial homework okay and the homework is very simple basically your devnagari varnamala so that you just need to write the varnamala and then you scan it and then upload in the classroom so the idea is we start with a simple homework so you see figure out what are the challenges what are the difficulties in uploading a homework so you go through that process so intention is going through that process so you'll get comfortable with that and then uh, more serious homeworks will start falling in so this week we had planned a very simple homework just write the varnamala letters so we would like to see how beautiful is your handwriting and then we will basically go about seeing the whole process about how we understand the upload download all the grading and all those things so that is what one thing we wanted to clear on that another thing which you want to talk about was basically this videos are there and i believe all these videos if you are not able to attend some of you are already there recorded and you know the playlists you are familiar with that getting those so that is another thing so gradually i believe all of you will get familiar with these kind of resources which you need to use can use kind of thing and it's just a learning curve of almost around maximum a one month then things will settle down a lot of people were telling so much of whatsapp messages we are bothered we are like like what is this happening we are lost kind of thing just one month have a little patience things will settle down then we'll use the whatsapp group for more technical discussions we have our doubts we'll discuss those that's how it will happen okay so that is just a one background i wanted to give so we are all we see when we are so many people if it was a offline class it would have been far simpler we meet in a room we are done <laughs> here there are so many things so we are trying to make up for all those things using these different mechanisms this different techniques okay so that was the thing so once we have this mindset right fine we will we'll get settled all the things will happen fall in place so that's what i wanted to update you on those things and now let's uh, uh, so in your first class have you used any sanskrit words have you learnt any sanskrit words yes we have okay so can you each one of you can you tell me at least one word you have learnt drushyate va okay shushila there okay what does it mean it means can you see okay good so this is uh, is it is this gauri shushila shushila Sushila. Ah, uh, 
Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think your uh, image is turned, so I couldn't re realize it. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I actually, <clears throat> I'm not getting the video. I don't know what is wrong with that, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fine, I fine. No problem. No problem. I now I can trace yeah. you. I can see you. <laughs> fine, fine. Yeah. I can see you. Okay, you are there. Yeah, fine. Dhani vada. So, uh, is there any order which has been allotted to you? Any roll number or sequence to you in the last class? No, no, no. So what we'll do? No. We'll go then. Uh, possibly the in the order I am seeing you for the, for this class. Uh, actually, uh, we don't want to assign an order because see what happens when your actual teacher comes, right? He may, she may have her own plan of ordering and things like that. So we don't want to enforce anything right now. And I think we are not too many. We are just, I, I think, uh, 16 of uh, you and uh, me, 17 of us. So that's okay. I can see all of you in a single screen. So I'll call out. I'll call out by name and one by one we'll go, right? So uh, Surekh Haji. Surekh Haji, are you there? I can see you, but video, audio, all are off. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so any one word you learned? Sanskrit word in the last class? Samyak. Samyak. Last okay. okay, what does it mean? Fine, good, very good. Exactly, good. Dhanavada. So then, uh, Radhajane ji. Yeah. Myself, uh, Rajan. Yeah, uh, what do you, how do you pronounce your name? Rajan. Oh, Rajan. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because it is written Radhajane. Yes, it's in French. Actually, I am from Pondicherry. Okay, okay. Written French. Okay, okay, fine. So, Rajanji, uh, one word which you have learned in your previous oh, class. Mahodayana. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, uh, in uh, English parents, sir. Ah, okay. Uh, another thing. So, when you uttered this, I'll tell you. See, the point is obviously we are using English as a reference to learn a new language. So, B, there is a, a disclaimer, heads up, which you need to be clear. That many a times what happens, we give a word to it, it may not be an exact word. Okay? The only thing we are trying to do is give a closest word to it. Because there is no exact word for it. Okay? And Mahodaya is actually one such word. Okay? Mahodaya is a lot respect. Sar is okay, you say some sar and this, but Mahodaya is a different level of presentation. Who is this? Sushila Jim, mute your side. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's what. So just I wanted to give a heads up. Yeah, Danevada. So that is uh, Mahodaya. Yeah, Rajeshwari ji. Yes. Uh, Vadatu. Vadatu. Speak. Ah. Ah. See, the point is, uh, it may look like, yeah. So typically, Vadatu again, speak is okay. In general, it's fine. But it can have different interpretations depending on with what you use it with. Okay. Okay, fine, good, good. Dhanavada. Uh, Subramanian ji. Namaste. Abhyasa varga hai. Huh? Abhyasa varga hai. Aha. <laughs> samyak, samyak. <laughs> In fact, actually, you told two words. I am. Yes. How? What was your first word? Abhyasa varga hai. No, no, then it is three words. You told one more word. Namaste. Ah, exactly. <laughs> Dhanavada. Yeah, Padma ji. Mahodaye. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> Fine. Teacher. Again, teacher. Uh, it's not teacher. See, Mahodaya is not teacher. Okay. Like we say, Mahodaya is a sir. Similarly, in English, if you want to translate, it is like madam. Madam. Okay. Okay. Fine. It is like that. So it is not teacher. Teacher is like guru, acharya, those yeah, things. Guru, acharya. Okay. Uh -huh. So this is like anyone you want to address someone. Uh, see, you are calling yeah. someone. Yeah, I understand. Not, Address. It's like addressing you, calling <laughs> someone, you please listen to me, then you want attention first. So with respect, you give address. That's how it is. Okay. And more than that, what happens we'll, as we go along, more than uh, actually English translation, right? We will use them. And from the usage, you will realize, uh -huh, in this way, we use this. This is the, the thing is, I know Sanskrit, but I don't know the meaning. Like, I read a lot of shlokas. Uh -huh. When I read the shlokas, I, I'm able to read it. But uh, as you say, meaning, it's, you know, like, uh, it's very difficult to understand. Yeah, yeah. Until, and, until you have the... Correct, correct. And yeah. one of the one of the common correct is what happens now whenever we try to learn other things, right? We typically try to get into our mother tongue. Ah, exactly. <laughs> so, my point <laughs> is... If, translate. Yeah, hmm. if we are in India and we are talking about our mother tongue, it is still far better. 
because our mother tongues are far closer they have similar alphabets they are, have the connections with sanskrit so it is far better english is the worst thing to learn sanskrit for i tell you frankly okay but trying to make a common language uh, we don't have a choice you know what few hundred centuries back what was the language which was taking uh, was uh, taking the role of english which is the, today english role is taking hindi sanskrit now sanskrit yeah it was sanskrit it was a all pan india language we used to talk in sanskrit across regions okay so just think of it that's what now we are talking in english so we as you go in level that's what you will see more levels right we will replace english and we'll talk in sanskrit to learn sanskrit so we'll do that we'll do that as we go along dhanyawad yeah gauri ji shruyate va ah what does it mean can, uh, can you hear are you able to hear yeah so see the idea is this is one trick this va va is a very powerful word so anything you want to convert into a question you add a va okay so that's how it is anything so like that's why see the drishyate va so drishyate means seeing so va oh are you able to see uh, then shruyate yeah uh, you are listening to it uh, va are you able to listen so anything you add a va it becomes a question so that's a very quick trick and we can use it in our day to day language talking so what happens we'll start talking more of sanskrit and one of the things i learned the way again i am also not very good at sanskrit speaking and things like that i also talk a little bit here and there and all those things but one tip i got from one of my teachers nowadays we talk our language other languages you take whichever language you talk at home or whatever it is do you talk that language pure just your language No. No. No, no. We mix this language, that language, and this, and there is a term for that. We call it khichdi. <laughs> right? We talk khichdi. So they said, when you can do that khichdi with others, why can't you add the masala of Sanskrit also into your khichdi? You don't need to talk totally in Sanskrit. You talk your thing. Just add one word of Sanskrit here, one word of there, and things start doing that. And that was a good suggestion. I said, "Wow, I know a few words. Next time I will talk, I'll use these words." other words are fine i'll use this sanskrit word in between okay and that's why i started doing and then over a period of time i didn't realize i can talk many more words now as part of my discussion okay so this is a very powerful tip and i thought in the beginning of the sessions now we are starting i'll give you this tip don't hesitate just to make a khichdi of with sanskrit and you'll see gradually how all the things are evolving okay yeah jignesh ji i can't see it <laughs> So all the words that I knew, I think, already been uh, described uh, or been taken. But mother tongue, think of some word which looks like. No, so I'll I'll take the word from the prayer that we started. So Om Sahana Vavtu Sahan Sah means to be together, to do something together. So Sah. Okay. Good, good, fine. But again, that is okay, fine. But gradually, what we want to do, we want to bring such simple words which we can use every day. Okay, the intention is that. So right now, whatever people told, we can always start talking about that. वर्ड फ्रॉम संस्कृत ha ah, kripaya kripaya so what does kripaya mean please yes dhanyavada divya ji yeah kripaya is one word which i was about to say <laughs> now uh, okay to... but yes taken it up <laughs> yeah she has taken it so vadatu is kripaya vadatu is what uh, vadatu also someone told i think okay i think most of the words which he had learned last no time. actually one word c uh, fran told actually a sentence so one word c used i didn't consider that you can use that word karotu <laughs> ah karotu so what is karotu uh, do um, unmute karotu means uh, please unmute yourself ah so do do it's do. like request please do so okay. kripaya do so if you see right this tu if when you have a tu right it's always a, in sanskrit there you'll see find very common thing it's a request Okay, now in our many languages, right? We have got this two word. We generally very very close to someone, right? We say two. 
right so there are a lot of connections you will find as we go along yeah dhanyawad yeah srikant ji uh, all the words have been taken up actually that's okay <laughs> i had, I had i had karotu in my mind but it has been taken up <laughs> create your create your own one own one uh, see think of your mother tongue and then think of there there will be some words in from sanskrit in your mother tongue right um, right now can't think of anything <laughs> uh, okay no problem uh, right so uh, in our in the previous session when introduction right so any other uh, interaction words anything you used there akshamyata uh, Ah, what is Shamita? Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, who is this? Gauri. Ah, okay. Ah, so you are uh, lending this word to Sikanji? Ah, uh, no. Somebody asked, so he said uh, sorry means Shamita. So yeah, Shamita. Fine, fine. So this Tam, Tam is another powerful prefix. So we'll see with lot of things. okay and that is this has a really bad so typically it looks like a ah, sorry english simple translation but sorry is too light a word shamyatam is a very powerful word is like it's like forgiveness from your heart okay and the point is it is so powerful that if you request for a shamyatam there is no other choice for the other guy he has to forgive you okay it is that powerful a word mahodaya <laughs> okay. another word sambhashanam yeah so the mahalakshmi ji do you want to use that word धन्यवादोन मैक सम से Uh, no we are not able to hear you can you just try to see something maybe some uh, mic setting speaker setting take out your plug or something i don't know yeah try unmuting again and see no we are not able to hear you okay maybe i'll move to next person and you can try to see if if you can fix it yeah kartik ji and uh, yeah kartik ji are you there yes mahadev i'm not uh, able to see you just give me a second yeah. so i believe uh, in our introduction also uh, narayan mode they have must have told see the point is though it is a online class we would like to make it feel like a offline class in offline class what do we we see everyone right exactly this feels so good right when we are able to see each other okay Hello. we can connect okay dhanyawad <laughs> yeah your word uttamam hello bahut uttam <laughs> so what does that mean Oh, very good or ah, good. Okay, so Raksha ji, your word? Uh, Kadati. Okay, what does that mean? Eat. Mm, okay, then you are there. Yeah, B V N M G. Yeah, we are uh, able to hear. Uh, Narayan Murthy, I am Narayan Murthy. Okay. <laughs> Danya, Danya, that was my again uh, trump card. I was keeping it. <laughs> yeah, your your mic mic stole stole it from you. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. Anyway. From last week, we have been using Danyawada. <laughs> That's a very good word. Yeah. Hmm. So okay. now we start making. Nama. 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 Namastubhyam. What does that mean? Obeisances unto you. I offer my respect to you. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, one of the things. Uh, so, where did you pick this one? You already learned Sanskrit, or no? No, it's in that prayers. Ah. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> fine. Fine. So then, how did you know the meaning of it? No, I, I'm a little bit learning the slokas, and I'm, I got from that. Good. The meaning good. of the slokas. Excellent, excellent. Fine, fine. See, that gives me background, right? What all connect you have and things like that, and we can talk accordingly. Then you are done. Okay. Yeah, Pooja ji. Yeah, you are visible now. You vanished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are visible again. Sarvo bhyo. Sarvo bhya. Sarve bhya. 
what is i i couldn't understand the word sarva sarvabhya ah okay it is sarvabhya 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 ha sarvabhya what does it mean sarvalok ha ah, all all of all all uh, ah. all people ah, so typically it is like you are telling to to all of you so like yes. sarvabhya namaskara ha so it's namaskara to all of you and things like yes. that मामा and you know a lot of our native languages we have lot of things with this mama mamatwa mamta lot of words are there and they all means close to like it's me mine so that word it actually evolves from that so this is a very powerful word again mama okay so dhanyawada all of yeah so that was a good exercise and now the point is what i typically do is we keep on just adding few words every day okay to our kitty so that we can start using it every day and when we start discussing or talking we'll make a make a khichdi of sanskrit we'll keep on adding those things so many of these words possibly you would have already uh, captured and heard even otherwise right you might have seen so i typically take the batch to in that i've been sending out a pdf in the whatsapp group right so in that i keep on adding this extra words every time that these are the new words you can now add up in your kitty and then you can use it so i'll do the similar thing i'll just add few new words for today so that you can continue and add further in your things again many of you have used it so i am not really sure which all words you picked from the previous class which of the words you already know but anyway i'll add few more new things and I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to share my screen and i can show you how the things are typed the letters so that rather than just speaking hearing we can see them also how they are written so i'll just screen is that ah okay yeah rajeshwari ji you raised your hand any question yeah at the end of the class mahodya was telling a sentence small sentence phalam vrikshah uh, patati okay he told another one word which we uh, nobody uh, told today is sambhashanam ha ah, someone told someone told okay someone okay. told that sambhashanam okay Yeah. So, what does sambhasana mean? Conversation. Yes. Yes. Okay. And the phalam vrikshaha patati is uh, the fruit. Uh, phalam is fruit. Vrikshaha is the tree. Uh, patati is the falling down. Yeah. Fall. Okay. okay. Told phalam vriksha patati. Yes. Phalam vriksha patati. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so fine. Don't worry about all those things. I, I, I heard. Just that's fine. Right now we are creating a vocab there. So phalam we know, fruit, vriksha is the tree, patati is fall. Yeah, fine. That's okay. Now obviously there are a lot of grammars and other things will come into picture. We'll gradually move into that, and that's what one of the things. When you are speaking something, don't worry about whether it is wrong or right. All of us. when we were child and now most of us we have child and we have children around we we see how they learn when they learn do they ever bother what they are talking does it make sense or not they just blabber they just want to express themselves right we need to get to that level if we can become kids i don't bother about whether someone is understanding or not i'll just talk about it i'll just express myself if you can do that you will pick speaking sanskrit very fast very fast you won't even realize that you have started talking in sanskrit then. okay and these are all tips i received from my guru <laughs> i have been following those and it has made a lot of difference i am able to do lot of and nowadays i don't even think i remember those days when i first started talking to guru and other people right i will tell around the one two minutes i'll tell something which i wanted to say with a lot of passion expression i have told everything after that two minute will say what are you actually trying to say okay i told according to me everything but it didn't make any sense what i have said but he encouraged me fine you repeat again i said i'll tell english no no you repeat again i'll try to understand what you are trying to do. 
that was excellent encouragement okay so that's what don't worry about whether wrong right just try to speak okay that's what we will go i uh, do as we go along so now i am going to share you some interesting words from our uh, this thing we'll see if you have already come across those words if not fine you can pick it up if you have come that's okay maybe uh, anyway i'll show you that so you are able to see my screen yeah yeah so one of the words is like namaste sarvevya which you already said namaste to all then namaste or namaskara which is nam this then suprabhatam are you aware of this yes we yeah. mm-hmm. suprabhatam good morning yes. good morning yeah then sub sandhya good good evening ah good evening yeah good evening we don't use that commonly why don't we use that we can we can we can actually okay i know we use most of the time subratri yes right but the point is subratri is typically when we use we are going to bed or something okay and very often possibly we meet most of the times in the morning that's why we say suprabhatam we possibly don't say sub sandhya maybe when we start meeting in the evening we may use starting this word <laughs> okay so then puna milama meet again meet again not meet again see you again see you again okay ah, okay we say when you are leaving right we'll say see you again we'll catch up play again or all those things right all those words are in single this phrase puna milama okay then the another set mahodaya and mahodaya you already looked into that kripaya vadatu you looked into that and shamyatam this is another word shamyatam sure shamyatam shamyatam yeah shamyatam that's how you write it okay then samyak then one another interesting word is chinta mastu worry not ah worry not so uh, possibly that i will keep on telling you so you are like scared of this that ah, chinta mastu go ahead whatever you tell it's okay fine okay then astu so when you ask something and you understand ha ah, did you understand okay. it we will yeah. say astu yeah no no when you say chinta mastu we will say astu ah excellent <laughs> okay so that's all these are the few new words which possibly you can add app and you try try using it when we converse further okay we'll see most, uh, most likely next saturday also i'll show you my face <laughs> okay so now today yeah any questions no okay so uh, one just quick question like you said all of you have uh, got your books and other things or at least ordered yeah. all the books no we got the books okay mostly okay fine and if not maybe you have ordered and it is in the transit or something like that yes yeah. yes okay. uh, then it's fine then it's fine then it's fine that's okay get to receive pardon get to receive ha ha that's okay that's okay ah, so that's okay. what if you see the level initial we are also like trying to not rush kind of thing we are go with the pace so by the time you get books we'll be already with our um, universal trials of google classroom all the homeworks everything ready kind of thing okay but oh. the point is still we want to talk about some more interesting topics even though we are getting ready for that we should really learn few fundamentals so have all of you seen the varnamala devnagari varnamala videos ha huh. yeah yes yes okay so you um, are comfortable with devnagari understand what exactly they are what are they yes, yes. So, um there are few words like varna varna is like letter varna right varnamala is the alphabets and in the varna varna there are two types of varna right what are they consonants Yeah. Swara, consonants, oneness, vowels and consonants. Ah, so vowels is called swara. A vowel, single vowel is swara. So this is swara. Okay, or also we call swara varna. And consonant is called vengeana. Vengeana. Or vengeana varna. Single, single consonant. Okay, this is what. So these are the two things. We'll start elaborate a little further on those. Let's see how it goes about it. and i am not sure have you been taught about this two phrases bhavata naam kim mam naam anilah bhavata naam kim kind of thing yes yes last week we were just had a a, a round of round of it right yeah yeah so bhavata naam basically you if there is a male you ask him what is your name so that is bhavata naam kim mm-hmm. and the reply is typically like mam naam 
your mm. name and typically you put a visargha this double dots you put mama nama anilaha and things like that okay and for a female you typically put bhavatyaha question bhavatyaha naam kim and you reply the same mama nama akila you don't put anything extra okay so that's how the basic thing so now given this background all refresher so this was just a refresher of all what we have done till now and maybe few few additions to our vocab kind of thing so now we'll start a new topic okay and uh, my plan is to cover the sanskrit the varnamala i know you have seen the videos and other things but let me see how well you have seen the videos and how clear you are so we'll go with that that's what the plan is okay so my this is what i am planning is so i'll try to basically you can take turns and you can start answering basically the first thing i want to do is i want all the letters one by one you can tell out and things like that okay now before i get into that i have a question we have heard this word called devanagari right we have this word sanskrit so when i when you hear devanagari what is exactly devanagari what do you understand by devanagari so script script okay any confusion there no so when you say script what do you exactly mean letters written letters of the of the language written yeah so uh, basically the sounds are there now you want to express them in writing so there are some symbols there are some designs for those sounds that's what they put it that's where the devanagari script comes in there so is devanagari script is to do with sanskrit only or uh, is it something more hindi also hindi hindi yeah. hindi yeah so now if you understand that devanagari script as such people think devanagari means sanskrit it is not like that many people think that okay it's not like that devanagari is just a script and it is a pretty fabulous script it has lot of variety lot of ranges in that and it is being used by many languages okay not just hindi hindi we know but there are other languages also can you marathi 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 is there marathi marathi any other telugu also no telugu is okay. a different script मारवाड़ी So now, if you see, there are many languages which uses. Brajya Bhasha, Brajya. Yeah. So there are many languages which uses the script. Okay. So script doesn't mean a language. Language and script are two different things. And you will interestingly find that a language may not use all the symbols of a script. It is possible. Okay. So the script is even bigger thing. A lipi, Devanagari lipi is a bigger thing. script may be sanskrit may be using few of them kind of thing so what i want you to do is today let's focus on the swaraha the vowels let us put down those letters what we know about it and let's see how we decode them okay so uh, are you clear about your orders or shall i tell you the name for today yes yes please okay i'll tell you for today so just keep that in mind so you know who is before you after you so that when the previous person speaks you can immediately after that you can take your turn okay so first one is surekha ji second is rajeshwari ji then subramanian ji then padma ji then gauri ji then jignesh ji then vibha ji then fran then divya ji then srikant ji mahalakshmi ji narayan b v n m uh, narayan ji right? narayan murthy uh, narayan ji okay then kartik and suraksha ji then kiran ji then pooja ji then sushila ji then uh, 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 you said some name rajan uh, rajan rajan ji ha huh, rajan ji okay fine fine so i hope you just remember who is before you after you so when the turn goes in you continue doing one by one so what i am going to do is from the beginning each one of you will tell me one letter and i'll just type it there in front of you can you repeat me after whom i am Pardon? Can you repeat me after whom I will speak? This is uh, who is this? Sushila ji, yeah. Huh? No, it's no. me. Uh, Kiran, it's me. Ah, Kiran, Kiran ji. Ji. Yeah. After you are after Suraksha ji. Okay. 
okay starting chain suraksha ji are there in the single frame after that you are okay so what you can do is when you are speaking right you can just tell your name okay you can just say mama nama this you can just say that and then so that the other person knows and then we will gradually get familiar with our voices so we know who's after turn and things like that okay so let me share that document again and yeah so yeah we'll start with surega ji aam um, a oh. ah is oh. your name is your name a uh? mama naam surega a oh. ah ah so i'll just type it in okay so this is a all of you are clear with this right yes sir ah okay yeah then next yeah who is next you are muted कृपया अनम्यूट करो तू कृपया अनम्यूट करो तू ओके मम नाम राजेश्वरी महादेव वी हैव टू टेल इन ऑर्डर और एनी लेटर वी कैन से इन ऑर्डर इन ऑर्डर अ अ ओके या नेक्स्ट ई ई मम नाम सुब्रमण्यम हां ई धन्यवाद नेक्स्ट मम नाम पद्मा ई हम प्रोनाउंसिएशन फॉर इट This is re. Re. Ra. Right. So now the point is, if it is ru or re, it is not a swara. It is a combination of something. Then it has to be something else. Re. Ah. So the idea is, it's a r that I'm just creating a sound. R. Do you see this? Re. The vibration. R. R. Okay. So the r that r that r should come. That is r. R. Okay. So r. 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 So the point is obviously you try tend to give that ending. You come to a kind of thing, but the idea is you should not actually end like that. It should remain r. 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 Now the difference is, see, if we write Krishna, Krishna, the word we write, right? Many times we say Krishna, we say Krishna, but the idea is it is that actually Krishna, Krishna. <laughs> Krishna. Now, if I want to write in English, I'll tell you. See the sim simple difference. If I want to write Krishna, I write sorry, I write Krishna like this, right? Or you say no, 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 no. We'd like to write like this. Mm. But the point is, both of these are incorrect. If you want to have a Rikara, ideally it should be written like this. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Krishna. It's neither e, neither u. Okay. It's just the r. Ah, there is nothing else. No. Krishna. 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 No. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Yes. Yes. I know we have. We have. Yes, sir. Yes. I learned from Hindi background, right? So I was very confident. Krishna. Krishna. <laughs> Once I started learning, I said, "Oh, Krishna is re right. What are we talking about? It's Krishna, Chris. <laughs> It's a very subtle difference. Okay, you have to get hang of it, and more you just be aware that I am pronouncing this rikara. Then you will be more clear. Ha, okay, okay. I need to pronounce like this, and your pronunciations will be because many of you I know want to pronounce the slokas very correctly. We want to have that effect of the sound. Yes. So this pronunciation is very important." Okay, so that's why I told this. So I hope you are clear with this part. 
Yeah. So who is next? So who just told uh, this? R, r? Viva, Viva. Ah, Viva. So who is next after Viva? Uh, it's me. Yeah. Mama, Nama, Fran. Yeah. L. Hmm. After this, Rikara, what is there? Ri. Ah, r, 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 the longer one, the longer versions of it. Okay, and typically I'll just. It's a little difficult to type uh, with this. Let me just take the character from there. I'll pick it up from the list here. I have this list here. I'll just pick it up. Okay, so this is this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is the one. Wait, let me change the font. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, let me pick the correct one. I'm just going to pick the correct one. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so you see the difference between the two, right? This is r. This is r. It's longer. R. Okay. Yeah. Next. Who is after Fran? Mama Nama Divya. As to. R. R. So this also r. Okay. L, the l sound and then Ricara will be there. So r is a combination of that. So we'll write. Like this. Oh. Correct. Then next. Oh. Hmm? Who is next? After we Mama Nama Shri Khan. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. So don't you think any other thing is there before A? No. no. So actually, we, we are just talking about ah. So something like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next. We have a word, sir, for that. We'll, we'll come to that. We'll come to that. First, I'm just jotting down the various alphabets uh, as far as possible in Devanagari script. I'm bothered about Devanagari right now. I'm not yet putting, so if you see, I'm actually not yet putting Sanskrit Varnamala. This is not correct. I'm not really doing this yet. Okay. I'm not really doing this. This is not yet being done. I'm just putting the Dev Devanagari uh, script letters. So what is the next letter? Mama Nama Mahalakshmi. Mm -hmm. uh, a. A. So short A or long A? Short A. Huh? Short one. Ras, ras, short A. Dirga, dirga. So there is there is a letter for short A also. Okay. So uh -huh. typically that is written uh, something special. It is uh, it is not written A, it is again with some symbol. So I'll possibly bring out some symbol. Okay. So possibly it will be written something like this. Okay. Again, it may not be correct. I'm just giving an example. It may be something different. Okay. And then? A. 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 Yeah. Who is next? Uh, Mama Nama Narayan Murthy. Hmm. A. I. I. Exactly. A. I. Then next? Mama Nama Kartika. Mm -hmm. O. So short O, long O? Short. Short O. Exactly. So if I want to put something like this, maybe I'll capture this. Okay. okay. And next. Mama Nama Kirana. Au. So whose turn is it? Kiran or? Yes, yes. Mama Nama Kirana. Au. No, I think it's uh, Surekha. Surekha. Yeah, yeah, there are two in the same. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, Mama Nama Suraksha and the letter is Au. Ah, uh, no, this was O. Short O. O. Long O. 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 O, yes. Okay. Now, Yakiran, your turn. 
मम नाम किरण अम 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 दिस इज जस्ट ओ इट्स ओ ओ एंड ओके या देन हु इज नेक्स्ट मम नाम पूजा ओके वट इज अम अम ओके नेक्स्ट मम नाम सुशीला एनी वन एल्स लेफ्ट येट आई एम द लास्ट वन राजेश Okay, so anything missed out in this? Oh, no, everything is stored. Huh? Everything is stored. So this is all the vowels. Yeah, I is that. I is that. Okay. Now the point is there are many more. <laughs> I show you. Okay. Oh. There is this symbol. Okay. Then. Oh. Oh. This is a, a. Oh, oh, oh. This is between a and a. It is a middle oh. middle sound. Okay. Oh. And then there is another one. This. Oh. This a a a a and o in between that. Oh. oh. For example, you say oxygen, oxygen. Oh. It is not oh. oxygen. It is not neither oxygen. It is oxygen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So the point is, Mahuti, I have a question. Do you mean to say these all letters comes from Devanagari, but we have not taken some of them into Sanskrit? Am I right? Yes, exactly. That's what I'm about to come to. Okay. 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 Now please understand, Devanagari script has lot many things. Okay. Now the point is, when we are talking about one language. it decides to choose only few of them and there is a very strong reason for that there is no word in that language using those particular letters so why do we need to talk about them do you get that point so because of that now we'll realize what all will go if we go into sanskrit varnamala so if you want to make it sanskrit varnamala now that we want to talk about this was devanagari the whole devanagari so as we have talked about all these things okay but now we want to talk about sanskrit in sanskrit is there any word that's what someone was asking is there any word which uses this so that's what if it doesn't we'll delete that we'll say in sanskrit we don't consider that as a letter so the same thing happens with this we don't have this same thing happens with this what about this um, um is there is there is this yes um is there um, is there is um, this Yes. Oh, who is it? Yes. No. No. This is no. not there. Oh. Okay. So the short O is not there in Sanskrit. It is only the longer version O. Yes. Okay. O. A. U. So O is also long. O is also long. Both are long, yeah. but yes. they are different. O and A U are not short and long of each yeah. other. Many times, at least, at, I know when I knew Hindi, I also used to get confused. O is the shorter one, A U is the bigger one. Not like that. They are two different things. Okay, O is long, A U is also long, but they are two different things. Now the confusion where does it arise from? Because the first one, A A E E U U R R O U U A I, the confusion arises from there. Right, we have been learning pairs: short, mm. long, short, long, short, long. So immediately think, oh, A I E short, long, but they are not; they are different. The short one we don't even use; we cancel out. Many, many languages in India, the regional languages, they have this short form also. If you know that, if you know your regional language, right, you will know there are short forms of A and uh, O also in your language. Correct. Any example? Any of your language you know? In Malayalam, it is. Yeah. Malaya in Tamil ra a different letter which is not used anywhere else ra 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 this one ra 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 no ra ra Malaya you have to twist your tongue and say ra 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 twist tongue this is the name of the tongue ra 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 is different ra ra is different when we tell Tamil that that last letter of it ra is It is Z H. Z H. Z H. Fine, fine. 
that is okay i am not telling that but i am telling many languages has the short form of ah, in, in tamil it is that ah exactly that's what i am telling so yeah, devanagari yeah. script has all these things yeah. devanagari script also has all these things it's just that in sanskrit we don't have any word with that so we delete that okay this clarity you should have first in mind okay so this goes now what about this i A, yeah. A, A is there. One A is not there. Yeah, this A is not, not there. What about this? I don't think we have that. Most of the Veda, oh. Veda, very few letters. Ah, so in general, in our day to Sanskrit, we don't have this. Have this. Okay. This also not. This. No. 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 Okay, yes, it has. This we have this. What about this? Rub. Both the rubs we have. Both yes, the correct. And this anyway we know we all have. We all have. So all now what happens? End of the story on swaras is that these are the final swaras which we use as a Sanskrit. Okay. So if you see how many are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so if anyone asks you how many swara in Sanskrit, what is your answer? Fifteen. Fifteen. Thirteen. One visarga. One anuswara. Wait, wait, wait. We'll come to that. First, first answer. Fifteen. At this level, it is fifteen. Sir, swara is uh, vowels. Yes. Okay, so fifteen vowels. Yes. Okay, Sanskrit. How many vowels? Fifteen. Fifteen vowels. No confusion. Don't ever get confused at this level. This is fifteen. Okay. Now the point is there is a further categorization in this. So we'll see that. Yes, someone is. Mute karo tu. Yeah. Uh, can you summon? I don't know. Okay. Someone is unmuted. Can you please uh, mute? उट अकार Eight. That's all. No, no. After that, oh. everything is dear. Come. Who will say Lri? Lri. Ah, so for, don't forget about these things. See, dear girl, Lri was gone. Short is the short one is there. Um. Wait, wait, wait. But till now, are you clear? Yes. So now let's talk about Dirga. Let's put. We'll come to the Tamanda. Sir, Hrishwa. Hrishwa means short. Yes. Hrishwa means short. Yes. A I. Okay, and if you want, typically we'll put harshwa, dirga, like that. That's okay, but no, right now not required as much. Yeah. So here, what is the first one? A. A. E. U. U. O. R. R. Okay, from here. A. Then R. What about R? No, it's not it's at all there. So it's not there. Not there. Then. I, Y, A, I, 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 O, 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 Amma, this symbol, this is called anuswara, the dot. Okay. Okay. Mm. And then there is another one. Visarga. Visarga. 
visargaha okay so this is this so the circle represents that something has to come along it can't remain alone okay when you see the dotted circle it means something with the dot something with a double dot okay so the something with a dot the dot is called anuswaraha the double dot is called visargaha so the point is actually they are used with many other things not with only a okay now if you see here we have used it that with a a a, a dot a double dot so amaha so the point is as far as the representation is concerned concerned we just use them in the first 15 and say yeah these are the 15 swaras so that is okay as you go in advanced you may discard the first two sorry last two why because they are not as such uh, it's a anuswara and visarga which is going to be used with someone so later point in time you will realize there is only 13 with these are being used with many other things so different formation happens so as of now there are 15 5 for raswa Eight are dirga, one is anuswara, one is visarga. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So that is the interpretation. That is the analysis. That is how we set into the into our mind. So anuswara and visarga are not categorized as raswa, raswa and dirga. There are some special things. So we know already they are special. But to have a complete picture, we'll say there are fifteen swara. Any doubts? Any questions at this point in time? No. All clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So, are you clear about the matras of each one of these also? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, let me put down. Anyway, so there is no confusion between the matras of uh, uh, A and I and all those things. That is also very very clear. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just once revise? Okay. Fine. So, how do you get the matra of a? Oh, uh. oh, it's just a. Uh. Yeah, no, no, matra. How do you get the matra for it? It's the time taken for pronunciation. How do you write it? That's what my question is. Without any uh, added stroke. Ah, so for example, you have a, this thing. Okay, so now this. This is ik. Ik so plus a. Uh. The line is there underneath, right? So that yeah. line is basically saying it is a consonant alone. Okay. And if you remove that line, it means the a uh is there part of it. So removing the line, the underlying line, I'm not using the word for it. It is actually called halanta. Okay, we remove that line from there. It makes it means the akara is there. The a uh matra is there in, in built into it. Correct. so that's why we typically don't represent anything if you want to represent maybe we'll do something like this the halanta is there and we'll basically remove the halanta you can you can think of like that so possibly i can say that uh, let me uh, uh, put it like this oh. and then nalgun oh, nara and then i'll possibly strike strike through so if you remove the halanta then it is the matra of a okay then basically we have matra of a so uh, matra of a i think most of you are familiar with yes. so yeah so it will be this okay and matra of e will be like this all e yeah then matra of e e will yeah. like this right yes then matra of u is this on your and matra of u is this and matra of r is this and then matra of this let me capture it from my table so i'll get it from here okay and then matra of this i'll again capture from here so it will be like this Oh. Okay. And then what about matra of a? One line, one try. Yeah. Diagonal line. Yes, one line at the top. What about a, i? Two lines on Two top. Lines. Exactly. Two matra. Yes. O. A. And one, uh, one, one on top. Yes. One on top. Okay, then O. 
one standing in line two matras yes okay then um dot dot yeah ah uh, two dots isarga isarga matra here so two these isarga. are the matras and there is a term for this in sanskrit we call it gunita okay matra is in hindi or other languages in sanskrit we call it gunita okay any any questions any doubts here if not i'll move forward so this is all about swaraha now do you know why you call why swaraha is called swaraha they have uh, visarga <laughs> no not really visarga is a separate thing i am talking of all swara swaraha why are they called swara why the because word swara? they are self dependent they do not depend upon others ah the word is swa uh, swa what does swa mean swayam uh, swayam self own oh, yeah. own so i am my own i can be pronounced myself you don't need any other help any other support okay that's why these are vowels these are swaras now if we go to the next set the vyanjanas the point is they can't be uttered alone you just can't speak it out it's not possible okay they need some supporting swara along with it and then only you can utter it okay that's why they are vyanjanam so for example let's take a simple example this what is this k ik 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 if you say ik you have used the e before the ka ka Oh, you have used ik, so e you have used before the ka. See, my point is, if I write this, ak, ak, okay, ak, ak, you are able to hear it? Yes. Ha. Huh. Or if I put this, what is this? Ka, 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 right? Ka plus a. Ka plus uh, again. Uh. i can't use that word that letter and then a oh. so i hope you see that whether you use before or after some swara has to be attached okay it need not be only at the end i can start in the beginning also then i can also pronounce ak ak ha ah, so the i can't say that alone but you understand that <laughs> is there okay so the That, that's where the support of swara is required whether you give before or after that's okay that doesn't matter matter and it's a very common practice in hindi and many other languages to give that supporting letter after that vyanjana and we put it like this so we put without the halanta that thing so we how do we read this out a kha a kha ga ga that's all right and akara is there along with it now the point is that is fine understood they can't be spoken alone but many times i want to tell like for example i was i want to explain to you in that also i want to explain this how to explain that so what we have done in sanskrit we have used the technique to represent them so what we do is we use the halant no that is to write if i want to speak how do i speak it okay vowel okay So we ka. use a suffix called karaha. Kara. So how do I use karaha? So we'll say this is kakaraha. This is kakaraha. Okay. This is kakaraha. Okay. So if I'm saying kakara, again at times we don't even pronounce after this visarga. Uh, so that's okay. We understand what you are talking about. So when I want to say that thing, I'll say kakara. kakara gakara so this is a very common term you will hear from us okay and when we are telling that we are actually telling that kakara means if you want to write kakara this is this is kakara okay okay when i say kakara it means this oh, sorry uh, it means this okay so this is a very common representation because they can't be uttered alone we have created a word to express that kakara kakara gakara and all those things so even with swara we use that form at, at times it's not required for swara but we also use akara akara ikara ukara we use that word that kara okay 
for swara is not required but okay you can use it it's okay it's fine i hope you are clear with that dhoni pan any questions any doubts in that so these are the various formats any doubts any questions in there yes no sir okay so now i have a question sorry yeah. ka eh, so karaha is suffix a so it is a way to speak so if i want to speak this letter i can't talk about it alone right so how do i say i if i want to say this letter i want to say speak this letter how do i say so i say kakara so this is equivalent to this thank you daniela so for example if i want to speak this <laughs> how do i speak it i'll say this is kakara <laughs> kakara ga kakara and if i want to speak this how do i speak this is gakara so this gakara. will be applicable to all all the letters okay gakara fir then uh, chakara chakara jakara jakara all chakara uh, pakara everything so this is a very common thing we use so then now you know how you can speak i know in our language we have learned a e ka 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 we have been saying we never think about akara is already there but it's there so how do you speak you talk like this <laughs> so that's what speaking and writing these are the two common things we have to synchronize so that we are perfect in what we talk and what we write what we listen all those things so that's for these details i just wanted to share so i believe with this you can create the whole table right pakara hakara chaka everything you can create just the kara you have to add at the end that's what we'll have to do now and given this background one of the simple things right let me see this what is this written Ram, ha? Ram, Ram. Ah, so Ma. Hindi speaking people like me, it is Ram. Ram. <laughs> But Ram. if you see, it is Ra Akara Ma Akara, so it should be Rama. 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 Okay, so that's why a lot of confusion, and especially like me when I am from Hindi background, right? I had little, little tough time. Now they're saying it is Rama. I said no, it is Ram. How do I say Rama? <laughs> okay but the point is we want to pronounce it correct it is actually rama and believe me it's not only the it's not a problem with hindi actually if you to go to banaras and other areas right the hindi they speak there that is the original form of hindi and they will actually read it as rama it's just that in our colloquial day to day usage we have started ignoring the ending akara and it is that is that is the reason it has become a prevalent like this and we just read like this kind of thing So we have lost the original form. The Banaras area people there are still they speak like that. Okay. So uh, now I am not going to tell that in Hindi. I will still say Rama. I am not. I will in Hindi if you I am talking I will say Ram only. That's okay because that's the colloquial usage of it. But if you want to become Sanskrit expert, we don't forget uh, that. We have to say Rama because if we want to say yeah. Ram, it is this. This is Ram. Alak. Okay. This is Ram. I hope you are clear with this. Yes. and this is very important because these are the things which is going to build the foundation when we are going to read write all those things as we go along so that's what i thought i'll go in detail subtlety of these things and we'll talk about all this okay so any questions any doubts at this point in time no sir no, no sir ha huh? no sir okay fine all clear so now i'll i'll try to do another another level of detailing here we'll try to do something called splitting of words okay or uh, before the splitting of words let me show you some more interesting letters okay let me show you uh, joint letters we'll come to splitting later let me talk about joint letter so do you know what is this sure so sure. is it a, a consonant or a vowel it's a combination of ka and sh sh so it's a consonant right yes See, when I say it is a consonant, is that statement correct? No, no, sir. I don't think it, it is. is not. Okay. How many? How many letters are there in this? Three. Two. Ah, Akara is also there. So I need to write this. 
Now how many letters are there? Two. 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 And what are the letters? Ikar. Ikar. What is Ikar? I don't understand Ikar. 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 Ah, kakara, shakara. So it is kakara plus shakara. Yes, sir. Right, so that now you know why I gave this kara, kara business. Yes. You, can, you can speak it up. Kakara, shakara. Very clear about this? Yes, sir. Okay. Now next one. What about this? Tra. 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 Ah. What is it? Kara, 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 kara. Yeah, and again, right now I'm not going one by one because there are only two. That's why I am allowing all of you to speak. Okay, and even with that, if after that people have done and all those things, you have doubt, please ask me. Don't hesitate. Don't think that no others have understood. I have not understood. There is nothing like that because this foundation level building you will never get again. Okay. Any basic doubts, simple doubt. Just think of it. When I, I came to tell you all these things, I didn't even think I'm going to tell you basic things. Uh -huh. I'm not thinking these are basics. These are very strong foundations. So sorry, any... you call... mm. sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. So you call this ra as rakara? No. Ah, we'll come to yeah. that. Okay. So okay. this basically it is this, right? Mm. Now this is yeah. takara. And again, rakara, you say rakara, right? So the point oh. is for rakara is very common. So what they do is for the rakara, they give another name. Repa. Re. Okay, refa. So this is another name. So it is takara plus refa. Repa. 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 Right? Huh? Not refa. There's no fa, so repa. Yeah, so there, there are many people say pa, many people say fa. So how do you pronounce? Fa is in Hindi, I think. Fa is in Hindi. Fa is in Sanskrit. So actually, no fa in Sanskrit. Symbols. There are two different symbols for fa and fa. Fa there is in Marathi also. Ah. Okay, re fa. So basically, your lips should touch. Fa. Air, air should come out. Fa. Re fa. 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 Pa, so pa, is it re pa in Sanskrit or re pa in Sanskrit? Okay, that's a good question. Yeah, because we are writing it as pa and we don't have pa in Sanskrit. Uh, so it should, it should be re pa, right? So what was your question? Can you repeat again? There is no pa letter in Sanskrit. So when we are writing second pa from uh -huh. power gum, we are writing pa. So it should be re pa instead of re pa. Right. So, how will you write fa? When you say there there's no fa in uh, Sanskrit, so no, we I'm write that about, fa. I'm asking about Devanagari. Uh -uh. <laughs> Devanagari. <laughs> fa is written like this. Huh? In Devagara, Devanagari, fa, fa is written like this only. Okay. So there is another one, like this, which has a dot at me, at the underneath. Okay. Okay, so now uh, I think I was discussing with you. I, I also got a bit confused. <laughs> okay, so I'll do one thing. I'll, I'll just go back. I'll just clarify myself and then come back and possibly tell you. So yeah, exactly. You're correct. One is only in Sanskrit. One of them is there. Both are not there. That is correct. Now, which one is it? Fa or fa? Fa or fa? There's slight difference between them, right? So we'll just, I'll just clarify that and get back to you and tell you on that. Okay. So right now, let it be. Uh, uh, there is no uh, akara intra. Pardon? There is no akara intra. Intra, like in sure we took uh, akara. Uh -huh. in, intra, there is no akara. Ah, okay. Good, good, good. Check. Yes. That's what the halanta has to be there. <laughs> See, if you are able to pronounce tra, Think of it. We are able to pronounce tra. Tra and refa both are consonants. If they are both consonant, we can't pronounce it. It has to be okay. If you are able to pronounce it, it means there has to be a swara there. Okay, so that's what. This is like if you put this, then it becomes this. Yes. Okay. So that's what. If you want to just keep this, then yes, we'll have to put. 
Okay. Now let me talk about a tough one. What is this? Yeah. Yeah. So is it a vowel consonant? Yeah. Consonant. 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 Yes. Yes. I have missed again one thing here. Yeah. Yeah, you are able yeah. to pronounce it, right? ஒரு <laughs> 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 it is a like consonant it's, it's a consonant sir it, but these consonant. three looks like a special words like visarga or anuswara maybe they come into a particular category other than mm-hmm. consonants ah uh, okay because mm-hmm. we have come from other language background it looks like that but that is what the myth i want to dispel here the first two what were they chak chak they were two, were two consonants combination of two consonants right yes yes they are not consonant okay we don't put them under the consonants category of chatra gnasas they are not counted as consonants okay. they are sanyukta akshara they are joint consonants joint consonants okay they are not consonants in fact i can create any number of consonants right let me just put it one this way just just see what i'm doing okay just see this what i'm writing what is this kra ah okay let me uh, remove this so kra. basically kra kara kra kara kra kara right so kra kara how do you form kra kara kra kara plus kra kara kra kara plus kra kara or kra kara plus refa ha correct yes yes so is it a, jo- a consonant or a joint consonant it's a joint, joint consonant ah, then how how is it different from this how is it different from this this also same way joint consonant this also same joint consonant do you count this as a consonant in your alphabet yes yes as a consonant ha huh? you count it's it? a consonant kra this krakara do you count this as a, a consonant no 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 r consonant r count it as a consonant kara plus a kara yeah kakara plus refa right it is a joint consonant yes. in our consonant table we don't count it as a consonant if i ask you how many consonants you will only count kakara kakara all those things uh, till hakara that's all mm. okay yes. you don't count kra then that way then i'll create all kind of thing kra khara gara ghara then uh, mm. along with that i'll use another why ra i'll use uh, uh, ka plus uh, for example i can uh, i can think of an- another letters also i can use all kind of kra yeah so for example ka and then i'll use uh, this pa ah. then i'll use pa i can use all kind of combinations but we don't count them as consonant they are sanyukta aksharas they are joint letters they are combination of consonants okay ayuk sir no what is this refa sir what is this refa because my current was down i just don't what is i, I didn't follow that refa yeah so rakara you understand rakara yeah this is refa right yes ah so uh, uh, rakara is a very popular one on popular de- demand it was given another name called refa <laughs> okay so rakara also is called refa so uh, ra- rather than rakara we say refa is that clear yes sir yeah. yes sir yeah okay so now if you uh, want... sir, sir this uh, sayukta akshara you said so sayukta akshara means any combination of consonants two or three right not not even consonants any uh. combination of any letters uh, okay any vowels too yeah so these are sanyukta aksharas they are neither vowels nor consonants okay so let's talk about this what is this which one is it a swara is it a vyanjana or sanyukta akshara sanyukta akshara sir 
<laughs> okay. So as soon as this is saying, Taksara, you have to tell me what letters I have to join. Uh, nyakar, nya no. Uh, nyakara plus Jakara plus Nyakara plus a. Uh. Uh, not really. So this is one of the toughest one. Actually, just see, yeah. I am writing it. Okay. Yeah. The first letter. Yes. What is this? Jakar. Jakar. And J. Yeah. Yakara. So it is Jakara plus Yakara. Okay. So actually, if you start pronouncing it, suppose I put the Akara also at the end to make it simple for pronunciation. Okay. It will be J. J. You start with J. J. Nya. Nya. So the point is the stress on Nya is so much that J becomes very subtle. You don't hear that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you say. Yeah. Right. That's what the j j j becomes shuttle. It becomes suppressed. So that's why you don't hear that. So that's why it becomes yani 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 yeah. So but it is jakara plus jakara. I hope you are clear with that. Yes, sir. Okay. Now one more last one. I think. What is this? Shra. 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 Vowel, consonant, swara, venjanam, sayyukta akshara. What is it? Sayyukta akshara. Now it's... Uh, Shakara. Shakara plus repa. Shakara plus repa. Okay. And these four I have put specially because they, are, they look very different from the joint combination. Mm. So that's why you should be aware. Whenever you see this, it means it is a combination there. So and they are very popular, very mm. much used in the language. That's why they created yes. a short form for these. Okay, that's how it has become. Now I can create all kinds of letters. For example, if you see this. Sorry. What is this? Khma. Khma. No, 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 Okay, so now the point is see, I can create all kinds of combinations like this. They are all saying Akshara. Okay, and they look all see, but here it is evident that I can see Hakara, I can see Makara, they're so fine, I can make sense out of it. And with Hakara, there are many special things like this. For others, it's okay, but this becomes very peculiar. For example, this. Hakara, Hakara. Hakara, Hakara. Hakara, yeah. Okay. Bakaram plus bakaram. Yeah. So I think uh, we are almost done with the time. So I'll stop for timing. But you understand, you get a feel of it, right? So we'll continue okay. further. There are many more things on Venjanam I would like to see. And then we'll discuss possibly more on these things. So you get comfortable with this. And then possibly we'll see a bigger, bigger combinations of these things. We have started with the basics yet. Sir, basically, what is Venjana? Consonant. English consonant. 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 So, Venjanam. Venjanam. Hmm. Is a consonant. Yeah. yeah. So, any other, so I am not going to say anything now. We'll stop here. We'll pause here from my side. Okay. And we'll continue further on these lines only. And then we'll proceed with uh, more complex co convergence of it. And so, before I pause, right, if you have any questions, anything, please ask. Go ahead. If not anything else, you can give feedback to me. One of the important things. Was it very basic to basic to discuss in the class or was it worth discussing in the class? It was very really worth, 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 worth. It was worth, worth discussing. Discussing. Very basic, but what to discuss. Yeah, because this, without this, we can't uh, read any further or study any further. So yeah, this is where we got stuck. This concert, the Samyukta Akshara and uh, that the and the Karaha, that all. Usually it is not discussed. I think that was good. Uh, I know that. 
when i was taught also i was not it was not discussed i'll tell you frankly yes and i had real tough time when people were all talking speaking i am wondering why are they talking like this why are they saying this why are they this so i really felt that i should have been told all these things so that's why i came back i i shared all these things with you dhanyawada <laughs> I know, maybe all of you know it, but I'll just bring it up so that for few classes we'll keep on bringing those things. So we are aware of this. Uh, this one, same thing. Okay. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Sindhu Nirama Sarve Bhatra Sarve Bhatra Sarve Bhatra वर्ड संयुक्त अक्षर जस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड Sir, can I take leave? Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank right you. Done. Namaste, sir. Very good. Yeah, yeah. So in, that is clear. Yes. Mahadev, can you just uh, in the next class? Can you um, just explain us how to? For, uh, write the last two samyukta aksharas fine fine i'll do that so this this is uh, i think you are able to see my screen you asked for how to write samyukta aksharas right this is how you write the last two letters only yeah yeah fine fine that will do so or yeah. at times we write it like this samyukta akshara the samyukta akshara akshara uh, okay samyukta so akshara or takshara that's what your question is right samyukta akshara takshara Because it is combination of two things, samyukta plus akshara, and so when sure. I combine those two things, it becomes samyukta akshara. No, the sha has one more line next to it, so sha or. Oh, I really sorry, really sorry. Shamya tam, shamya tam. Yeah, yeah. I, I did I just uh, typo samyukta akshara. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Madhu Guruji. Yeah, thank you, Madhu. Um. Yeah. Sir, we are doing. Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, for this homework, we have to write only the swaras or swaran. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was one thing. So as I said, the homework will be given to you, and you need to upload that. And what will happen? It will basically you have to write the complete word mala. Ah, yeah. Ka 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 ka. You have to write the complete set. From uh, vowels and consonants, right? Yes. Yes. Complete. And uh, one more question, sir. How do we download? How do we upload? That is because I am not a techie person. I I know that. we know that many are like <laughs> that right so that is the whole idea the homework we have given a simple one uh, you have to write you have to write it in a paper get okay. ready and then you have to take a photo of it and then upload so there will be all guidance as the homework comes okay. in it will google will be posted in the google classroom all those things come then all your doubts questions and so there will be a whole lot of messages on the sasham whatsapp group very not okay all those things will come and then finally you will get to hang oh this is how you upload it will happen Okay. So today evening we need to upload the homework, uh, Mahoja. Uh, just a minute. I'll stop the recording actually.